everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i painted the black lady from sailor moon so she's when shibiusa turns into the black lady and she grows up but she's all evil <laughs> and so for this painting i outlined it with a copic multi-liner the size 03 for this painting I'm actually sketching and um, drawing on a watercolor block so it is 300 grams uh, 140 pounds of hot press watercolor paper and so hot press watercolor paper is mostly if you want to do more details because the surface is mostly entirely flat so it's a, like a smooth surface it's kind of like bristle board but it's watercolor paper and so if you want to do the ones that the cold press ones usually have more grooves and so it holds on to water better and but I like to do more details and small little uh, intricate designs so I like and I prefer hot press watercolor paper and so here I am using my Van Gogh paints my Van Gogh watercolors and also I recently got some Winter Newton colors and definitely you can see a difference with the with the professional grade one and I I do have quite a lot of Van Gogh paints because mixing colors is kind of difficult for me and because watercolor it's or painting in general is kind of hard to always get the same color and so I like to paint with color straight out of the tube and maybe some variations here and there but for this painting I used most of my colors directly from out of the tube and so when I paint I use a size 6 round brush and for majority of the hair I use a size 18 round brush and I use round brushes because I feel like they're the most versatile you can use them for um, really small details and as well as covering a lot of space with it and so the brushes I use are synthetic squirrel hair so that it's a lot softer and it absorbs more water I also have a couple of smaller brushes for um, really tiny details but I just bought those randomly at Walmart um, I bought them originally for acrylic painting but I don't do that as much as watercolor and I think that the one thing that kind of bothers me about this picture is I don't know how to paint noses and it bothers me <laughs> but I feel like most the rest of it's okay I, except her hair is supposed to be really pink and that's what I was going at at first but then I added maybe I got a little bit too dark as I added more and more purple and you don't see it yet but the background gets very purple and pink and it kind of blends in with her hair so I didn't record it but I ended up outlining a lot with my white jelly roll to add some highlights in to separate her from the background also I'm really impressed with this watercolor block and so with the block it's not like a pad or like just separate sheets it's glued down on two sides so that when you finish painting you can just cut off the size of the glue and then you can your piece just kind of comes off the block and then there's a fresh sheet underneath and with the block you don't have to worry about warping because it's already stretched out and I think that's what I really like about the block. It is a little bit more expensive than just regular water paper pads. I used to paint on cold press watercolor pads from like Strathmore, but that kind of paper does warp. And I heard you could um, help stretch it out by leaving it under water and soaking it in water and things like that. But with this, it's just so convenient because you have an entire block and it doesn't warp when you put a lot of water on it I mean it does a little bit because it is still paper but I feel like it's a huge improvement to just watercolor um, just the, the pads and I don't it's not professional quality 
but I feel like for painting full backgrounds and things like that, I think having a block is really convenient so that it doesn't mess you up if your paper is bending in weird ways and then your water doesn't... Like if you put a lot of water into some areas, it just kind of flows and puddles into like certain areas where there's like a dip or like a valley. So with this block, it just keeps it nice and flat. And I think that's uh, a huge improvement to my own art. And this background, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. So again, I felt like the background had was too similar to her hair. So I was thinking, oh, let me add flowers. And this took forever. And I didn't even record all of them because it's kind of hard to draw and record as your hand kind of gets in the way. So this painting took me maybe about five and a half hours and but it was broken up into like many different um, many different parts and I sketched it maybe about three months ago and, and then I finally decided to color it because sometimes it's kind of hard when you have like a nice outline and you don't want to ruin it by coloring and it's hard to fix your mistakes if you're not doing things digitally so I have to try and like commit and like make sure it turns out okay and so thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in my next one